So your narrow boat should be finished and it should be completely dry because if you start painting at this point and it's um, got any dampness to it you're just going to bleed out. So I um, start with my fender and um, I take exactly the same orange and I don't dilute it or add anything to it but I take the same orange and I just work it in without the water. Then I take a bit of brown and I add some brown up um, at the top for a bit of depth. Take the same dark brown and um, use it for the um, mix and bits to use for the doors. Um, and then just to add in a little bit of light reflection, really, really quickly, um, sketchily, put some um, paint um, onto the, the part of the windows that would have a bit of light reflection and add some water to those. adding in a bit of an outline here. This is completely optional. Some people enjoy the outline, some people don't. Um, I always convince myself that I'm not going to outline everything but I end up just really liking the look of it. And follow those, um, I think they're called sacrificial lines, I can't quite remember, um, just a little bit further up past the bottom of the boat because that just adds a, um, a, little, a little bit of interest to them. So just going to mix a, a just a, a shade um, that might look like a grey shade uh, up on the top of the bulkhead, and um, and just lightly dab that around when you think that that's created enough enough depth. just continue to add some extra lines and detail and bring out and enhance the features that you think are important in your painting and then when you're happy with it that will pretty much be the end. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make a narrow boat with some blue dragonflies. If you have liked it give us a like and subscribe and um, maybe comment below if you have tried this at home or if you are painting another project, let us know about it. <laughs>